Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Right here in the hop garden, this is Northern Brewer Hops. These are hop cones. This is what beer is bittered and the aromas for the hoppy beers come from. So, about 10 feet tall going across. There's about 10 different varieties. So, tell you what, let's go check and see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by today. Today's beer is Star Hill Northern Lights India Pale Ale. This is brewed by the Star Hill Brewery out of Crozet, Virginia, which is about two hours away from here. Uh, been there, nice folks, brew some good beers. Uh, this is an American IPA. It comes in at 6.5% ABV. It's a year-round serving now. It used to be seasonal, but they do it year-round now. The food pairings would be your standard, more stronger pungent cheeses, the blue cheeses, the pepper jack, the, uh, the sharp, the, the, mo the more stronger cheeses. Uh, the glassware today, we're going to use a pint glass. Uh, you can use a mug, a stein, or a tumbler. Uh, the beer is not recommended for extended celery because it's a hoppy beer, so you would lose the hoppiness of that over time. And with that, let's bust a cap on this and see what we got. All right. A little bit of smoke out of there. All right. That pours a orangey copper color, well, it's a lighter amber there, not quite a straw color, but it's, uh, it's a little on the orangey side, about a half finger of head there on that one, bubbles coming up, not a lot of bubbles, but there are some bubbles coming up in the glass there, so uh, let's get a nose on it, oh, that's a nice citrusy, hoppy smell. Now it's rather pleasant. A little bit of grapefruit. Ah, it smells wonderful. It looks wonderful. Probably is going to be wonderful. Let's see. That's a nice hoppy change. It's not super hoppy. This is actually not a hop bomb. It's not ripping my uh, my taste buds out of my mouth. Um, it's pretty. It's a pretty mellow IPA, to be honest with you. And as the hoppy beers go, the longer you have them in the uh, in the fridge or even out of the fridge before you even get them, uh, if they're sitting in the store and they sit there for. A, hopefully not a, a month or so and then you keep it a month or so the hoppy characteristics are going to go away and they're going to fade so try to do uh, try to, to, to do your hoppy beers as soon as you get them not, try not to keep them go ahead and drink them up because they will lose some of their hop characteristics over time so uh, if you're into uh, into the macro lagers and you'd like to get into an IPA this may be a good entry level one because it doesn't have a whole lot of hop bite Finish is a little clean. Not bad. Not the best I've ever had, but it's just decent. So I'm gonna sip on it and uh, come on back here in a second, and we'll look at the uh, look at the final chug and uh, and do the grade on this one. Stick around. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left in it. Uh, to me, this really doesn't fit in the into the style of an IPA. It doesn't have the hop backbone. I mean, the hop characteristics. It smells a little more hoppier than it tastes, actually. So. Uh, Got a lot of maltiness to it too. Uh, on the IPA, I really like the I really like the hops, uh, hop the hop presence, and this one doesn't doesn't have it. And it's not that old. Uh, I haven't had this more than, more than about I don't know, probably about four weeks or so. So uh, them 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 uh, hoppy beers fade away quick. So uh, 
if you get one, drink it up. And speaking of that, let's do the final chug. Just doesn't hit the mark for an IPA for me. Uh, the rate beer gives us an 88 overall and a 66 on the style, and Beer Advocate gave it a B plus in the overall. So they're they're saying it's very good. It's uh, it's a little weak for me being a hop head that I am. Uh, it doesn't have the hoppiness for the style. So uh, I'm I'm a kind of agree with rate beer on this. Uh, it gets a low on the style. It's a good beer, but for an IPA, it should be a little hoppier than what it is. So. Uh, we're going to knock down a few points for that. This beer is going to get a 81 on the scale today. So uh, uh, if you've had it, let me know what you think of it. If, uh, if you disagree with me, let me know. Give me some comments. And as always, guys, subscribe, rate, comment, and we'll see you on the next beer review.